From above, when you see what the water's newly done to the Sumas Prairie in BC, you're really looking back in time. A hundred years ago, that plain was a lake, and when the rains came, sometimes that lake stretched to 80 square kilometers, frustrating for farmers along its shorelines. So in the early 1920s, the lake was drained to create lucrative land that now sits below sea level. This is where most of the province's dairy and poultry now come from. The prospect of disaster always looming. Journalist Tyler Olson has been watching the water and the shifting climate for years. Water flows downhill and absent infrastructure like Barrowtown Pump Station or absent the, the, the water making its way to the Fraser, it will go to what used to be Sumas Lake. Add the decision to drain to a quirk of nature and you have the core of the crisis, a name you hear spoken of with a lot of concern now, the Nooksack River. Curious, because look at the Nooksack. It doesn't travel anywhere near Canada. But when it floods, the water flows north between those mountain ranges, right into that low, flat Sumas Prairie. The Barrowtown Pumps, whose job it is to drain those waters, sit just to the north of it. That's why volunteers were frantically sandbagging those pumps overnight. The biggest in Western Canada, they have to be protected. The need for better protections long fought for and argued over. Bringing the dikes up to standard is expected to cost more than $400 million. And that's in Abbotsford alone. And Abbotsford is the largest municipality in BC, but it's by far not the only one along the Fraser River. And so it requires a lot of international cooperation it also requires cooperation between municipalities and counties and it seems like that's where in the last decade even when we didn't know this threat exists that work didn't get done in the absence of physical protections all that's left to safeguard lives and livelihoods is a solid alert system but in bc it's a patchwork of systems different municipalities different apps different approaches that wall of water was coming for BC, advancing as early as late last week, unstoppable. The land weakened by wildfires, unable to hold it back.